hello everyone today i want to show you how to solve this problem for the values of c so if we have c over 5 to the power of 6 is equals to 2 to the power of 6 and we solve this problem for the values of c so here you see that this is a sixth order equation it means that we need to find all that six roots of this equation so for this first we can just uh, uh, separate this square root uh, this sixth root and it will be written as c to the power of 6 divided by 5 to the power of 6 is equals to 2 to the power of 6 and now here in the next step uh, we need to move this 5 to the power of 6 in the right hand side and it will be written as c to the power of 6 equals to 2 to the power of 6 multiplied by 5 to the power of 6 here we need to combine these two exponents and it will be written as 2 multiplied by 5 and its exponent is 6 and now in the next step we have this is c to the power of 6 equals to 2 5 is a 10 and we write it as 10 to the power of 6. So now here uh, we move this 6 in the left hand this 10 to the power of 6 in the left hand side and it will be written as c to the power of 6 minus 10 to the power of 6 is equals to 0. And now we convert uh, these to uh, sixth order uh, terms as in this form uh, c cubed and its whole squared minus we write this term as 10 cubed and its whole squared and this is equals to zero. So here we apply the algebraic formula so for this we write these terms as c cubed minus 10 cubed into c cubed plus 10 cubed and this is equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need to convert this equation into the two cases the first case is we write c cubed minus 10 cubed equals to 0 and the second case is we write c cubed plus 10 cubed equals to 0 so we call this is our equation number one and this is our equation number two so here uh, we need to solve these two equations for the values of c first we need to focus on equation number one so from equation number one we can apply here this nice uh, cubic formula if you have a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square so according to this formula we write here our equation number one as in this form first you have c minus 10 times of c square plus c into 10 plus 10 square and this whole equation equals to zero uh, and now here in the next step now we need some simplifications and it will be written as c minus 10 times of c square plus 10c plus this 10 square equals to 100 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now in the next step we convert this equation into two cases the first case is we write c minus 10 equals to 0 and the second case is we write c square plus 10c plus 100 equals to 0 so from this case we easily get the value of c is equals to 10 and now here for other values of c we need to solve this quadratic equation so uh, in order to solve this quadratic equation we can use here the quadratic formula so that first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to 10 and c is equals to 100 and we state the quadratic formula as c equals to minus b plus minus square root of uh, b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so here in the next step we need to substitute the values of a b and c in this nice formula so it will be written as the value of b is 10 it will becomes minus 10 plus minus square root of b square b is 10 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 100 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and now here uh, in the next step we need more simplifications and uh, uh, we just uh, rewrite uh, we just need uh, to simplify the terms so we have c is equals to this is minus 10 plus minus square root of 10 square equals to 100 minus 4 uh, this will be written as 4 times of 100 and it is divided by 2.
so here we need to take common 100 uh, inside the square root sign so we will get here when you take common 100 after taking square root you get 10 times of 1 minus square root of 4 and it is divided by 2 so here we break this uh, fraction and it will be written as minus 10 over 2 plus minus this is 10 times of uh, here you have 1 minus 4 becomes minus square root of 3 divided by 2 uh, so we obtain here this is 2 5 is a 10 and we get minus 5 plus minus this is also 2 5 is a 10 and we get uh, a 5 into this is square root of 3 into we write minus 1 square root as iota so these are the other two complex roots of the given equation so here from case number one we get these three roots of the given equation so now here in order to find the other roots we need to first copy down equation number two here so that from equation number two we have c cubed plus 10 cubed equals to zero so here we again apply uh, the cubic formula so for this we write it as c plus 10 times of c square minus 10 c and plus 10 square and this is equals to zero here we need more simplifications and it will be written as c plus 10 times of c square minus 10 c plus this 10 square equals to 100 and this is equals to 0. So we divide this equation into two cases. The first case is we write c plus 10 equals to 0. The second case is we write c square minus 10 c plus 100 equals to 0. So from this case we easily get the value of c is equals to minus 10. And now here for in order to find the other values of c we need to solve this quadratic equation and here we again write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to minus 10 and c is equals to 100 and we state the quadratic formula as c equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the our uh, quadratic formula and now we put the values of a b and c here and it will be written as c is equals to the value of b is minus 10 so this is minus times of minus becomes plus 10 and plus minus square root of b square b is minus 10 and minus 10 square becomes 100 and this is 4 times of a is 1 and c is also 100 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1. So if you can take common 100 inside the square root, so after taking square root of 100, you get 10 into square root of 1 minus 4 and it is divided by 2. Uh, so further we break this fraction and it will be written as 10 over 2 plus minus 10 times of square root of minus 3 divided by 2. So finally we have this is 2 5 is a 10, we write 5 plus minus, this is also 2 5 is a 10 and 5 times of square root of 3 and we know that this is square root of minus 1 equals to iota. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation which we get here from second case and from second case we get uh, these three uh, roots of c. So here from both of these cases uh, we get three three roots of the given equation so when you combine uh, both uh, roots so you get here finally six roots of the given equation so this is our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos